Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. Behind me is where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers football team plays their games, Raymond James Stadium. And I am wearing an appropriate hat for the spring training baseball season is upon us. I'm wearing my TROP shirt, Top Canada Field, where the Tampa Bay Rays will be partaking soon. The regular season will begin. Also have my glove. I brought a ball inside there. Maybe I'll catch a foul ball. I will not be going in the football stadium. I will be going in. And it's just a side note, will not be watching the Rays, the team that I root for, always root for. I will be going into Stein, George Steinbrenner Field over here where the Yankees will be taking on the Baltimore Orioles. I just felt like watching some baseball. And I have never been to this particular stadium, so I figured, heck it, I'm going in. I'm inviting you to join me in my first spring training game. I attended Rays the first day of spring training when the players reported, but there was no game being played that day. But today, at the Rays, Orioles and Yankees. Join me, Steinbrenner Field. Shall you? I'm pretty excited for some baseball. Current time about 4.15. The game plays will start till 6.30 p.m., but the gates open a couple hours early. I can already see a line starting to formulate up there. So I'm gonna start heading up there, get in line, and get ready to go in. And I'm kind of curious if others will have different teams on other than the Orioles and the Yankees. Gotta wonder. And look who's walking up here. Swing batter, swing Tampa, batter, swing. Tampa J. Baseball time. Fancy meeting you here Fancy at Steinbrenner you. Film. What was the name of this before Steinbrenner? Legends Field. Legends Field, and because you're, you're from Tampa, so you know a little bit more right. about this area than I am. A little bridge that goes over there. Any other fun facts about this field? Um, it wasn't named Steinbrenner Field until he passed away. They are giving some specifics on what you can bring in and what you can't bring in. There's even an express line that says no bags. I'm excited about this. I've this never... What is it? Is that a bag? That's a little bag. That's a little... Yeah, yeah I think it'll work. I don't know if that classifies. Okay, batting practice just finished up. The Orioles are doing a little a little stretching, a little calisthenics. Fun word. You use that word. Calisthenics. And before this happened, they get ready to put all the netting away, the batting practice. Caught a little bit of the Yankees batting practice. And even Aaron Judge was up to bat, kind of crushing them out to left field. Yes, yeah, the first time I've ever seen Aaron Judge in person. You know, one of the stars of the Yankees out here just crushing them out to, to left. So that was pretty awesome. Never been to the stadium. And I haven't been to a Yankees game in a long time. I think the last time I saw the Yankees was at Tropicana Field probably 10, 15 years ago. And in-person Yankees, yeah, obviously, on TV I've seen them. But, but just to give a little Tampa Bay Ray tie-in, the Orioles will be playing them in the first season opener, I believe April 8th at Tropicana Field. We're going up against the Orioles. This is kind of a little Ray's tie-in. This is just spring training, though. This isn't part of regular season. Just a clarification. Now, this is pretty cool. Whitey Ford, I remember my dad talking about, this is one of my dad's childhood heroes. My dad liked the Yankees growing up, of course. My dad used to, used to live and was a minister in Commerce, Oklahoma, the childhood home Mickey of Man. Mickey Mantle. Awesome. In fact, I threw the ball around, had a catch with my dad with our gloves and ball in Mickey Mantle's childhood home. So that was pretty cool. And then Yogi Berra, you know, Yogi Berra, a very famous catcher, he was, working spring training for the Houston Astros once, and I got a ball signed by Yogi Berra. And there was a short time for a couple years, probably around the turn of the century, that I really followed a lot of the Yankees. Back in the A-Rod, Jeter days. Love Jeter. Java Chamberlain. So I followed them for a few years, but it's been about probably two decades since I've really kept up. I am really glad that baseball is back. Lockout has been rectified. Even though this isn't a regular season game, Always good to attend some spring training. It's going to be a lengthy, long, and fun season. I'm doing a lot of traveling and peppering in a lot of games. A lot of Rays games. A lot of Rays away games. I'll be hitting a lot of different stadiums that I've never been to across the country in 22. I'm looking forward to it. Any item or property to affect the safety of George M. Steinbrenner Field, its occupants, or its property shall not be permitted into the stadium. Any person that could affect the safety of the stadium, its occupants, or its properties shall be denied entry. 
Guests are responsible for their conduct, as well as the conduct of their guests. I'm always interested by this technique, this training technique. But basically, the player has a big rubber band and the trainer's behind it. All right, about to be first pitch of my first game. I have a tenant of 22. First pitch, pitch of my first spring training game. That uh, was a ball. And my plan is to just kind of move around the stadium. Oh, that was a foul ball. Basically where my seats would have been. I got $20 seats over there on the first base side. Except that it's hard for me to sit still sometimes. And since I'm not really, didn't really have great seats, I'm just kind of move around. I'll be on the left and right field line and the outfield probably a lot of the game. Just kind of moving around. Center fielder has got it. I'm out here in the outfield trying to catch maybe a home run or a pop-up. That's a ground ball. Might be difficult though because I'm standing next to Zach Hample. Is he's, there... he's got no chance. He might have the height advantage, but I mean, come on. Is there any point in even having my glove out here in the outfield with you around? You never know. I might get distracted. Who knows? But I mean, I feel pretty good about my chance. How many balls have you got today? A lot of room to run out here. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, What's your total today? I was, uh, well, I got 15 here today. And then I was in Lakeland earlier today and got a bunch there. So it's been quite a day. You're, you're, in, the, you're in the 40s right now. 41 baseballs total today combined at the two stadiums. I have one. I got one. Check this out, Zach. I'm on the board. All right. I'm on the board. 40 more to go and you got me. This, I brought this in though. I didn't get this. Oh, get out of here. Fake news. Also, <laughs> Finway Chris is over here. Howdy, folks. Videographer extraordinaire. Yes. In the house, Adam the Woo. I'm very excited to meet you today. It's good to meet you. You're my YouTube hero. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. I'm starstruck by the Woo. Woo, I'm starstruck. He met me and there's this gigantic figure standing over my head. I was like, who is this guy? And I look over. It was me. The one, the only Adam the Woo. I'm six foot three, so I'm, I'm hard, to, hard to miss out here. And he makes me look good on YouTube, so. He does. Thank you for all that you do. You don't have the GoPro mounted on your head today. No, he's my GoPro. He's the human GoPro? Human GoPro. Oh, here's 41. Here's 41. Up, you're on the board. Can I have my ball back? Oh my God, this I, guy. This, this might be the only one I get the whole day. And I, this, this guy. This wasn't even from today's game. Oh man, that's terrible. You have to teach me we, your ways. You can't you're like, fake the numbers. This has to be legit. You're like a good- We don't want to have the, any recounts. <laughs> We're in Florida. It is Florida, yeah. That's true. Today. That's from, so you guys did two games today. So I'm filming Zach. I'm okay. catching this barehanded. Okay. Would you like it? You could throw it up in the air so I'm on the board. You got two. What, what am I now? Am I on the board? I mean, it's kind of got to come from the field, a coach, a player, or, or a stadium employee. Yeah, but I work for MLB. But not tonight. Look, I, I don't want to rain on your ball hockey Mr. Parade. Small Print right here. <laughs> Listen, you know, there's no official scorekeeper for catching baseballs, so I don't count spring training balls, but a lot of people do. So it's like, you know, you can count it however you, if you want to count that one, then you go and do it if it makes you happy. I got two, Zach. You, you live your truth. <laughs> and for those that don't know, definitely check out Zach Hample on YouTube. YouTube, oh, you're wearing, I gotta get one of those. I mean, it doesn't have my name on it. It's not that fancy, but yeah. So the real question is, when are you gonna start showing the Rays some love? I mean, I don't show them any hate. But when are you gonna start, when are you gonna start going to some Rays? I mean, I've been there a number of times over the years. You, I've seen a lot of your Tropicana. You but actually like Tropicana Field. It's, you know, it's surprisingly tough. People, whenever I say I'm going, they're like, oh, you're gonna catch 20 balls there because nobody shows up. But the outfield configuration is tough. I'm keeping one eye on the batter. I don't wanna miss a home run. And they only open like 90 minutes early, so. That's true. You don't get that many opportunities, and a lot of fans I, there show up pre-game. I have the sweet retro shirt. That is pretty sweet. And they're not going to Montreal. Yeah, that's is, a shame. I would have liked to see that, but I've been to I 61. Want them, I want them here. Stay here. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I've been to 61 different major league stadiums, so the more places I can go and see baseball, the happier I am. Fair enough. We'll see you at the next race game. Definitely. Bye.
This is probably why I don't catch too many balls because I'm sitting here. You do you ever sit? Zach. Uh, oh, oh, we're filming. I'm sorry. Do you ever Hello, sit? Everybody. Da, 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 da. Um, I'm just. I'm Go, trying to. Circus clown. I'm Go, trying circus to post clown. a photo of us on my Insta to promote you, and you're interrupting me. Got a ball. <laughs> So, do I ever sit? Yes. Uh, not if there's a setup that's this amazing. But, you know, Major League Stadium is where I normally go. Lefty, he's not hitting one. I should run over to right field. If this were regular season, I would go over there. But, you know what? I'll even sit. Down. Take a sip. To answer your question, if I know that there's a good chance of running and catching the ball, I'll stand if I'm allowed. But a lot of stadiums, they don't have walkways like this, so yeah, I'll just grab a seat. Have you, is this the first time he's ever sat? First time I've sat all day. No. Uh, for him? No, he drove us here. No, but I sh when I introduced you about 20 minutes ago, you yeah. were sitting. You catch me during my, I can only talk to the camera during my break. You know what I'm kind of in the mood for? It's a hot dog right now. I could go for one of those. Hot dog time. Wanna go get a hot dog? Yeah, let's do it. Let's dog it. Ooh. Foul ball. Means it's time for a hot dog. I have now moved over here to the third base side, up just a little bit. Went with some peanuts. America's number one, number in shell peanut number one. Yeah. And then also, a little mustard on my dog. You gonna put a little ketchup on your dog? Uh, a little plain right now, but I'm about to catch a bit up. Gonna catch up it up? Yeah, I gotta catch up. Gotta catch up with my yeah, mustard yeah. dog. Right now it is one to nothing, Yankees. Let's go. Ah, you got a little shearing. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Like a good dog and a good baseball game. Baseball's back. All right. Dog time. Dog time. Baseball's back and we got hot dogs. It's still life. It's a great night. It's nice too. It's not too hot, not humid. It's perfect. It's not raining. Cheers. Cheers to the summer. Aaron Judge up to plate, number 99. That was a strike. Struck him out. Yeah, he's out. Oh my gosh. Got him. We got him. Got him. Man. The Orioles got a man on first and second. Whatever I think of the Orioles, I always think of Cal Ripken Jr., the Iron Man. That was a long time ago that I'm showing my age. I saw one of his last games at Tropicana Field. Really? One of my first race games, yeah. When I, right after I first moved here in the 2000s. I got to see Cal Ripley Jr. play. It was awesome. That's pretty cool, man. The Iron Man. Iron Man. Got a little of a chant going. Yeah. Iron Man, not to be confused with the Black Sabbath song, obviously. <laughs> And he got that name because of the most consecutive games in a row by a player. I think that record still stands. Probably should have looked that up before I stated it. <laughs> Someone will correct you. There it is. Get some Orioles runs. Whoa, oh, going home, going home. Safe. Orioles got to run in. Now this was kind of interesting. The batter was hit by a pitch on the hand, but it was ruled a, a hit. So the runner went in, so the Orioles scored another run. It was considered a hit, because it, but it hit yeah. his hand, rolled down the third base line, and the runner scored. Or maybe they called him out, because all the Yankees are now going back over to the dugout. Now these are pretty neat seats. Right here. You got some seats here, you pull those out. You got this little, kind of this little bar section here. No one sitting here. We're just kind of wandering around. Ooh, that was way, that was way above his head. 
is a good seat right here. Oh, that's a high pop up there. Center field. Got it. And the runners stayed on second. Thought he'd tag up and try to run in. Guy on second and first. Next up for the Yankees, pinch hitting for the Mayhew. Ooh, what's coming my way? That's coming my way. Oh, he just hit that guy right in the noggin. That hit that guy right in the noggin. I thought that was hit the guy right in the head. And then this guy got it. It's a little souvenir. Now bases are loaded. Oh, no way. Is that a grand slam? Nope, center field got it. Tagging up. One Yankee run in. Two guys advance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be ready. Your Thank you, Pete. Third base line and welcome from Georgia. It's time for their field. It's true. My area, my job is broken back. Oh, broken back. Broken back, Mary. Yeah, like a race car just went by outside the gates. All right, got him out at first. Sounds of a ballpark. Here's someone out in right field saying, Ooh. Oh, my voice just cracked. That was not Ric Flair. Whoa. Get him out. Oh, got him. That is someone named Vic Flair, V I C Flair. He's here at every game, so we're told. If you have any numbers, please send to guest services to meet with the 50 50 staff member. For official rules, visit cyberfield.com or the 50 50 kiosk. You think there's any you think there's any radiation issues sitting underneath this massive scoreboard like this? You're getting a tan here. Well, activity over in the bullpen there for the Orioles. It's the eighth inning now. Back out here in center left field. I had to get myself a water because the little remnants of the peanuts got lodged down here and I needed some water to get get them down. I was starting to regret having the peanut shrapnel down in my It was scary man. Yeah I ran I was like I was trying to talk and then I ran over there to right field where they had waters. And then you came to check on me and go, you alright? Yeah. And I, I was like, I need water Water. Remember that when I was over here? Oh, you were. I thought that would be the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. you like bolted. I'm like, is he yeah, all you right? Yeah, we were having a conversation, and I was. I started realizing. It's like, how well do I know you to do Heimlich? If I, I need, had to. You could have done hey, the Heimlich on me. Can you take a picture? Of... Hi, hi, you're on the channel. Oh, what? You just missed me. I was, I was, like, I was eating peanuts. Did I just interrupt something? And I needed water so badly. I ran over to right field faster than you have ever ran for a home run ball in your oh, life. Oh, I don't know. That's a good this water. I'm glad it's not Dasani. I don't I'm like Dasani. Yeah, I don't like this. It's basically salt water. They got salt yeah, water. It is. That's Coke products. Dasani's See you, Jack. Correct. All right, yeah. take it easy. Good hanging. See you later. So, yeah. This is better. All right, so are you actually on camera right now? This is recording? I'm yes. recording nice. So, yes. can I pull you off camera to take a picture? Sorry, fans. He'll, he'll be back soon, okay? I'm just Remember, doing you only my see hot me doing the breaks. You guys still gonna do Kevin's the Heimlich? Right? Up. Get ready. What's that? You gonna teach me the Heimlich? Uh, <laughs> wow, this, <laughs> I'm gonna end it there. This guy is number I'm 90. <laughs> Max McDowell. I, I have actually never heard of Max McDowell. Like I, I throw you over the chair. I think that's totally. <laughs> what? 
no EMT would, would do this. Yeah, I think, right? Or wait, that's what you do when you're choking yourself. You like throw yourself into the back of a chair. I'm no EMT. Don't yeah, I know. No advice for me. But I was debating. I think. I need. To I think Zach needs a <laughs> needs Zach to take needs a photo. A <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> are, are things just falling apart right now? Is that what's happening? This is called going off the rails. Yeah. The rails. Sometimes it's more fun that way. You had a bad moment with a hot dog one? So the only time I ever like choked like that was a hot dog and I was playing baseball. High school baseball. It was in between innings. Um, we were switching. I was going, I was supposed to be going out to catch and I was getting a hot dog and I ate it too quickly. And the next thing you know, I'm, oh, 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 and then I was like hit my chest. Players eat hot dogs? It, like, I, I was hungry. I went all day with school, had to go on an away game. And I, my mom showed up. I was like, Mom, give me a hot dog. So she rushed it over and I'm sitting there trying to eat the hot dog. This is going to be a long story. This is a long week. This is, a, this is turning in quite the interesting first spring training game video. And I almost wasn't here, Adam. I almost died that day. I'm glad you made it, man. I made it. And that's it. The Yankees have won. Brought to you by Rooms to Go. Thanks for coming to tonight's game, and please drive home safely. Good night. That was it. For our first spring training game of 2022 is over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. They won. And now everyone's clearing out. Game is over. Yankees have won. They have bested the Orioles. Clearing everybody out of the stadium now. Slowly but surely, everyone must head to the exit. You don't have to go home. Can't stay here. I think that's the sign. Nonetheless. Yeah, pretty neat. My first time ever at the Yan Yankees Spring Training Facility, the George M. Steinbrenner Field here in Tampa. Probably have to come back another time. No real rhyme or reason why I went to this game. I just felt like going to a baseball game tonight. So I did. An evening game, and most of the games during spring training are usually 1 p.m. games. This one wasn't until 6.30 p.m., so it was nice to have a nice night game. It was a nice night game. And that's going to do it for today. Baseball is back. Lockout is over. And I, for one, am excited about the season. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this first spring training game for me of 2022. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this. Here's Zach robbing me of a home run ball right there. Look at that. Look, he's like robbing me. If I was going to go in my glove, it went in his. Also, spoiler alert, we staged this photo. There really was not a home run that we went for. But it looks, it. it looks pretty, it looks, it looks, you took this, right? I took it. You took it. Yeah, it's a, yeah it looks real. Tampa Jay took it. But it looks pretty good. It made for a good, uh, good, good, good picture. A little for posterity. But let's be honest, I would have never got this because he, he's got it down to a science. I just, an artist. I'm just, I'm just luck. It's just pure luck with me. <laughs>